Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we're going to talk about something really important that I've always wanted to talk to, to, talk to you about. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video and this conversation. I don't know how long this is going to be, but I really want to talk about that stuff and um, really want just to kind of express of how I feel and what I feel. So, anyways. Um, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna talk, and you know you're gonna see these amazing uh, classic Mercedes in the background, 190E and a W123 right there. So let's get started. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to make this video because I think that this is a really important uh, subject, and uh, you know I just uh, it's always sitting on my mind, you know. So. First of all is we must save these classic Mercedes, okay? Uh, at this point in time, what I realized is that only true uh, enthusiasts uh, will actually take care of these cars, okay? Um, and um, this is true, you know, because I've been, you know, going to like many different places and I also, actually I went to a junkyard yesterday. Uh, it was actually on accident uh, and I didn't film anything, uh, but I went there and there was like, you know, six classic Mercedes in there just sitting and a lot of them were like in immaculate, amazing shape and stuff, you know. And honestly saying, you know, just because I really love these cars so much and I'm so into them is that uh, I almost like literally, it's 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 crazy, but I almost like started crying because I mean, I, I felt so bad and sad and I felt like those cars were literally like talking to me on so I came up to them, you know, and like this. I was like, hey, wh what are you doing here? Why are you here? You know, I was talking to them and I felt like they were talking back to me, you know. And, you know, just in general, just because I really love these cars so much and it just breaks my heart seeing them in a junkyard and in places like that, you know, a lot of people who own these cars uh, nowadays and at this, point, uh, at this time are the people who actually don't know what they own and they don't deserve to own these classic Mercedes. So, first thing, and at the beginning of this video, I want to make sure that if you own a classic Mercedes and you feel like it's not for you or you don't like that car, please don't junk it, just sell it to someone who will love it, who will put love and care into these cars. These cars are amazing cars. Nobody will make such great cars anymore, uh, sadly, and you gotta think about it. They're 20, 30, 40 years old right now, okay? Um, and they do need love and care, and they deserve that care. Uh, that's what we do here at Vito's Garage. Uh, we love saving these cars. I personally have a lot of friends with classic Mercedes and classic BMWs, and that's how we come together as a family, okay? Um, I'm trying to encourage a lot of people to love these amazing cars because uh, literally I pulled yesterday, I actually went to pick up a, a new key, uh, not new key, two brand new keys for this car, which I'm going to show you in a second. Actually, let me see. Uh, if I can get to it, I have really crazy pockets in these jeans. But let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, look at that. It's a brand new key for this amazing car. Uh, sadly, I still have to drive this car with a you know screwdriver. I use a screwdriver to start this car because um, after ordering t these two brand new keys, uh, it turns out that uh, my ignition lock cylinder is completely frozen and stuck so I actually had to order uh, an ignition lock cylinder as well so I'm waiting on that as well so anyways uh, so these I went to the dealership yesterday to pick up my parts and there were a lot of like new Mercedes over there I saw one was there was one uh, really nice one W126 300 SD that was sitting there but once I pulled over there, I saw all these people who were, you know, usually when like customers come to the dealership to buy a brand new car, you know, they, they just look for new cars, you know, and then when they saw my car, they were like literally like staring, they were staring at this baby Benz, they were like, oh, what is this, you know, even though like it's, you know, uh, steady years old, it needs a paint job, which will, it will get eventually, but they were looking at this car, they were like, what is this, you know, they were like, and a couple of technicians there actually, like, they saw me in my baby bands and they just gave me a thumbs up, you know, I really wish I filmed all those moments, but I didn't, uh, unfortunately, so, anyways, please, if you, uh, if you like classic Mercedes, if you are mechanically inclined, and if you love working on cars and saving these cars, please focus on these cars, okay, um, you know, these cars are amazing. I have no words uh, other than saying amazing because I'm going to keep saying amazing for the rest of my life because that's how they are. 
and like I said, I have a lot of friends across the United States. I also have a lot of subscribers from, you know, overseas in Europe and Poland and blah, 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 Germany, uh, who also watch me. And thank you so much for that if you're watching, if you're from overseas or from the United States or Canada. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are amazing. We come together as a family, okay? We were born as, uh, as one family, and uh, that's how we roll as a family, okay? Uh, so... You know, I try to make, I try to help you guys out, you know, I try to make all these videos for you guys. And as you know, uh, you know, I'm not like others who try to just sell you a product, you know, just because they, oh, this is what it took me to find out to how to fix this or this problem instead of just, you know, if you're a true enthusiast, if you're a true enthusiast, you're going to actually help your people out. That's how I am, you know, I, I fix whatever I fix on these cars, I try to film as much as I can, obviously, but I try to show you and help you out with every step possible, so you guys can actually do it yourself, or you guys can tell your mechanic how to do it, you know, and it's pretty crazy how, like, you know, a lot of mechanics actually don't want to work on these cars, I mean, these are such simple ca cars, I mean, I just recently fixed the power seats on this car, and this, this uh, 190E has, like, no modules, you know, newer Benzes, like W210, or, actually, I really love W210, don't get me wrong, but newer Benzes, uh, like, you know, even the brand, brand, brand new ones, they actually come with, you know, they have a lot of modules that actually control your power, power seats, and, uh, power windows and all that stuff you know this car is so simple it doesn't have any modules you know it just has a relay and a couple of fuses that and some power seat switches that control your you know power seats and stuff like that so like i said guys i'm trying to help you guys out and stuff and i'm always down to help you know you guys can find me on social media and all that and i'll help you guys out i'll support you you know you guys support me i support you back you know that's how we come together as a family we need to save these cars uh, you know, the, we need to love them, we need to cherish them, uh, we need to appreciate the German engineering and we need to appreciate the Bruno Sacco who actually uh, helped us out, uh, not helped us out, but actually created these amazing machines, okay? Um, so, Bruno Sacco, thank you so much, you're the man, uh, you know. Um, if not these classic Mercedes, let's say these classic Mercedes didn't exist, I don't know what I would be into. Um, maybe classic BMWs. I mean, I love classic BMWs as well, but I'm just so into classic Benzes that I just don't have time for classic Beamers, you know. I just, uh, you know, I'm just so into these classic Benzes that if there's an opportunity, I'm going to buy another classic Benz, you know. That's how it works. All right, so please love these cars save them okay we need to save these cars we need to have them forever okay and this is i don't know about your plans but my plans are to drive these cars until i die okay that's uh, you know that's the goal okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do that and, and you know i've been collecting a lot of classic mercedes parts recently and it's just uh it's a really amazing thing so imagine the year is like 20 2050 or something i'm still driving these amazing cars uh, just, uh, you know, seeing these cars in person just makes my day, you know. Like, I would be sad a couple days, you know, I'd be like, I would come out, I would look at these cars, and uh, my, my, my face would turn from this to this, like that. So, anyways, please guys, uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, please save these gems, save these legends. We need them saved. Uh, we can't let these legends die okay if you know any people who own these cars please buy it from them or actually help those other people who own these cars let's say if you see uh, you know a w123 or w124 sitting for a long time and it's your neighbors leave a note that's what i do i see a classic mercedes i leave a note on the windshield like hey i like your car you know like let's get together let's help each other out you know like that's how we save these cars okay it's pretty simple guys it's not it's not that hard you know like and um uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, I just wanted to kind of like express my thoughts uh, in this video and also uh, another important subject that I want to talk to you about that uh, I've been hearing a lot and um, you know, I just it's just been on my mind as well. So I need to like also talk about this subject and this subject you will find out in a little bit. Now let's enjoy these cars for a little bit.
guys I hope you enjoyed uh, those couple clips and now um, part number two of this video series okay um, so uh, there is a really important subject uh, which is called buying a cheap Mercedes all right I'll tell you right now I bought this amazing 1991 Mercedes 190e for $350 okay I absolutely love this car okay this car has issues which is expected okay uh, a lot of people tell me uh, or actually like they a lot of people tell you know message me they're like oh uh, why did you buy uh, cheap Mercedes you know uh, cheap Mercedes is like the most expensive Mercedes ever you know and um, I do not agree with that uh, here's why uh, you can buy a Mercedes 190E, put some love to it, care as much as you can, uh, and you can have an amazing, restored, painted, beautiful car for under $5,000. Or you can buy the same 1991 Mercedes 190E for $10,000. Let's say, yeah, let's say it will have like lower mileage, whatever. You know, trust me, guys, at this point in life, I don't care. I don't even look at the mileage. I don't check nothing. I don't check Carfax when I buy these cars. I don't care. This car has 252,000 miles right now. And I don't care. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, you can buy $10,000 190E. Guess what? It will still have problems. It will still have rubber problems. I'm pretty sure. Even if it was garage capped, it will still have issues. It will still have, like, probably suspension problems. Maybe, like, torn rubber boots, suspension, axle boots, blah, blah, blah. It will still have issues. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, okay? So you will still have to put love into that car. Uh, whereas this $350 car is, I've already, as you guys know, you've been following my channel. I've done so much work to this car. Um, you know, it's you know, you can check the playlist, whatever. You, I've done so much work, and I'm proud of it. Okay, I love putting work into these classic Mercedes that need restoration, need work because they deserve them that okay if you're not handy if you're you know if you're not mechanically inclined uh, you know you only think about the money yeah you should buy a $20,000 car probably you know and you should probably keep it in the garage and not drive it at all uh, but me for example I love saving classic cars I love giving them love I love everything about these cars and I don't care you know uh, once we all die we can't take our money with you uh, with us so you know uh, put it somewhere uh, like into these cars uh, that will live another you know hundred years after you do it so uh, this car particularly still needs a lot of work you know the biggest thing is obviously paint job uh, I will also have to take the engine out completely uh, to refresh it restore it install new gaskets timing chains and stuff because it's a little tired uh, but I love doing that I love putting love to these cars and uh, just because I know that they deserve it and they're just amazing cars they're not some like newer Hyundai Sonata whatever that you know your your fenders are made out of uh, you know uh, four thousands of an inch feeler gauge or something you know it's not like that is a real German metal right there you know if you guys remember I shipped I'm, I, do you guys remember that 1990 Mercedes 420 SCL W126 that I shipped to my dad you have no idea. He loves that car like so much. That's that car is being babied every time. You know, uh, I bought it like two years ago, and I shipped it to my dad overseas. And that car, uh, he drove it like about three thousand miles uh, since then. But he loves that car. He only drives it during the summertime. During the winter time, the car is garaged inside a garage. Uh, it's been babied. He he has done. You know, I've done some work on it before I shipped it, but I also. I shipped a lot of parts with that car, you know, so, and my dad took care of the rest of the car, you know, like, once the car got there, my dad was obviously shocked, but once the car got there, my dad actually, you know, took care of everything, uh, you know, he needed some work here and there, and the paint job, he took care of all that, the car is literally immaculate, um, so yeah, and, uh, you know, the, the car needs some love, uh, but, like I said, it's, it's great it feels great putting love into these cars and especially when uh, imagine that you buy you know a car that's been sitting for like 10 years and then you restore it to like pretty much brand new condition 
and then don't you feel proud of that it's amazing that you've done it like you feel oh, it feels great that you've done it and right now recently I posted a video about my heater core leaking so some people thought that it was a big deal that oh like why did I buy cheap Mercedes blah 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 it's like the most <laughs> expensive Mercedes ever it's not it only like it's only in, the, in your mind you've just been watching so many of those like videos that like you know make you think that oh it's like expensive you know to buy a cheap Mercedes yeah um, I don't care look heater core it's it's temporary fix okay that bypass that I did is a temporary fix I will get to it eventually I will order a brand new genuine brand new uh, heater core and evaporator I'm gonna install it on this car I don't care this will get fixed okay it's just a matter of time right now uh, but this doesn't make me feel upset or anything like that okay it's just another something else onto my list that it needs to be added okay uh, so I'm gonna tell you right now that if you buy a uh, ten thousand and twenty thousand dollar car uh, just because you were bidding on it or whatever I don't care how you bought it uh, or you know whatever um, you're still gonna put money into it <laughs> you're still gonna put money into it but um, you know that's why I'm gonna disagree with that buying a cheap Mercedes is like buying a, a you know the most expensive Mercedes ever uh, guess what this car eventually once I'm done with it it's gonna be under five thousand dollars you know which I'm really proud of it I'm happy with it it's gonna be an awesome amazing car okay that I'll be driving for the rest of my life um, you know so I can you know I can talk about this and talk about this you know um, and uh, second of all if you work on cars if you're a mechanic if you're mechanically inclined if you know what you're doing if you're patient is remember patience is like one number one key with these cars Okay, you, if you don't have patience, you know, you shouldn't probably even be working on cars. Uh, you know, these cars require a lot of patience, you know. Uh, they're pretty easy to work on, but they're sometimes, you know, you know, especially if the car's from, like, you know, Midwest or something, where there was, there's was there been rust, so you have to deal with that as well, and you have to deal with patience, you know. Like, some some of the stuff, like door, door panels that you have to, like, be really careful about uh, when removing, installing, and all that stuff to not break anything. That's why I take my... I take so much time with that, you know, not so much time, but I take, I take my time with like, you know, doing interior stuff and all that, so that doesn't get broken, you know, yeah, um, and then, once everything is fixed, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna be happy, you know, like I said, uh, and, you know, like I said, this, uh, this is a, this is a cheap Mercedes that I bought, but I bought it because I felt really bad with that car, this car's been really neglected before. Uh, you, sh you should probably see the, the, the history or you should see, you know, the playlist of uh, this 190E and how terrible it was when I got it. But I just felt so bad for the car, I wanted it saved, you know. And uh, I really wish I had a, like a big aircraft hangar or like a, a barn or something right now so I could actually buy all these cars and save them all. You know, I'm really sad and uh, guys, we need to, uh, if you know any people that own these cars, uh, please, you know, I'll contact them, I try to, like, be f become friends with them, you know, like, tell them about all these, you know, Facebook groups that you, they can join and, you know, to get some help or whatever, they, or tell them they can contact me so that I can actually, or email me or whatever, so I can help them out, you know, with whatever they need or advices or help, you know, I'm always happy for that, I'm always down, uh, always down to help, so, we need to save these amazing cars, guys, okay, um, and, um, uh, uh, what else I wanted to add? I mean, I don't know. It's just a really like random video that I'm making today, but uh, I just needed to get it off of my my mind. So um, yeah, so people stop, uh, you know, watching all these videos about that. Oh, the, the you know cheap Mercedes is the uh, the most expensive Mercedes, is, which is not a case. Okay, like I said, eventually this car is gonna be uh, under five thousand dollars once it's restored and repaired. You know. Um, of course, mainly mainly because I was you know fixing everything myself and stuff. But um, you know you can find if you if you're not a mechanic if you don't work on cars you can also find other friends or whatever you can you can get contests where you can get some good deals on repairs or whatever. I don't, I don't know you know I <clears throat> like I said you just uh, you just need to look around but you cannot give up on these cars okay don't give up on these cars love them cherish them enjoy them uh, love them uh, like I said. Uh, couple more tips uh, I wanted to add is uh, also make sure if you're living like somewhere in Midwest or Washington state or somewhere else where it rains a lot make sure you always after it rains make sure you always check under the carpets make sure there's no water leaking under the carpets if there's water start investigating where that water is coming from 
it's really important guys okay uh, water leaks are really bad for these cars and unfortunately out there 40 years old 40 40 years 40 years have passed and they still have original like windshield seals door seals and all that stuff but you know this stuff gets worn out after this many years especially when people don't condition their rubber I'm gonna make more videos about you know conditioning the 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 interior seats and other stuff to make them last forever you know I'll make those videos for you guys so you guys can watch and you can learn and you can maintain your cars and repair them and love them this way okay that's what I've been doing with these with all my cars okay and uh, um, I don't know guys I mean like I said uh, we need to we need to love these cars um, I don't have any more words to say and uh, if you see a cheap Mercedes for sale buy it okay um, you know maybe not as you know maybe not right away obviously but you will be able to get it fixed and you'll you will fix it up and you will be proud of it that you fixed a classic Mercedes or you know and that that car would actually outlast your new Mercedes that you bought now these new Mercedes that they produce nowadays and other new cars they're like I said they're not gonna last for as many years as these uh, classic Mercedes so yeah I'm looking at you baby Benz and I just can't wait to see you and you know like I was telling you in previous videos when I bought this car this car became like totally happy like you you can tell when it's kind of like when it's kind of like love between dogs and humans you know uh, a dog will find uh, a good human and he will go to the good human instead of the bad one it's the same thing with the car okay so uh, a good car will find a good owner and a good car will run away from bad owners so that's what's been happening with uh, you know the previous owner the, the, you know the the, oh, the guy just neglected the car so bad I mean I'm, I'm just really sad it just kind of breaks my heart you know like just because I'm a huge huge fan of these cars you know and I hate seeing that you know like yesterday, I saw I saw this uh, amazing W124 E420 in the junkyard, 1994. Jeez, M119 engine, legendary car. Man, I found a paperwork in the car from previous owner. I really wanted to send a really some like nasty email to that person, you know, really nasty email. It just it just makes me really angry and upset because people people don't know what they have people don't know how amazing these legends are and create and stuff and you know people in Europe and you know Poland or you know other European countries and also Russia people go crazy about these cars they love these cars so much they would they go they they, they 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 grab these cars in the worst shape possible and they make them like literally like brand new candy you know like what I'm saying it's like they may they grab these rusted out classic Mercedes uh, which is so amazing big thank you to them also for those of you from Africa if you guys are watching you guys are amazing you know I've been seeing all your posts how you were you know taking care of the W123 or how you were you know restoring a W123 from scratch how it was all rusted out you guys made it like brand new like you welded new floors and stuff it's it's just amazing guys thank you so much for doing that like I have no words you know if you guys are on Instagram you can actually look up some some people from you know Africa and there are a lot of these cars in Africa as well I mean people love these cars so much in Asia and they restore them like they, they love them so much and they go crazy about these cars so uh, you know it's a really big shame that we are in the United States and we just throw these cars away like nothing like it's really upsetting like it's really sad and I really wish that you know like I said I had the big barns I could just grab all of them like this no matter what shape they're in doesn't matter like I would just grab them all and just literally put them there and I would just literally save them all you know give them all my love possible so I really and we, guys like I said uh, before we end this video I just wanted to say big thank you to you if you're a big Mercedes enthusiast thank you so much thank you for loving these cars and not giving up on them okay please don't give up on these cars okay find me if you need me or my help I'll always respond I'll always help you out uh, you know like I said guys I'm not the one who actually you know makes money off of uh, you know uh, some products that I you know found out whatever you know like some other people you know I actually help you guys out I give you all this knowledge so you can guys have it you know you can guys apply it to these cars okay whatever I find out I always give it away you know I don't keep it as a secret and I don't really demand your money 
from, you know, uh, some products, you know, from some, like, LED bulbs and stuff, you know, uh, for your dash or whatever else, you know, <laughs> whatever I find, I always give out the information, guys, so you can always count on me because I'm a real enthusiast and I love these cars and I want them to be saved, all of them, no matter what shape they're in, okay? Uh, if someone tells you that the car is way too gone, they're wrong, they shouldn't be into classic Mercedes. So, before you, pre please don't scrap these cars. Don't! Just sell them. Sell them to a good owner. Find a good home for them. Sell them to a good home, please. Okay? That's it. Yeah. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by, for, you know, having this conversation with me. Thank you for listening. And let's all save classic cars, classic Mercedes. And, you know, let's, like I said, we're all family, guys. Thank you for all your support. You can leave your comments down below. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. I'll try to make more videos for you guys, like always. You know, um, like I said, we need, we, 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 we must save these cars, guys. We must. So, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can follow me on social media. You can message me there. You can message, you can email me if you want. You can call me. I'll see you around, guys. Bye-bye.